This video explains a universe of electrical potential, with the conscious mind representing the most advanced part of a universal process. The brain works by electrical impulses, forming chemical changes, forming a continuous flow of ideas that we feel as consciousness. This electrical activity is universal, because we cannot achieve absolute zero. Everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see this universal process of continuous change, continuous creation. This process forms the driving force for consciousness as a conscious stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, perceptions, feelings and emotions that make up our lives. The photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force and therefore forms the movement of electromagnetic fields with the flow of charge. The atoms react with electromagnetic light waves, forming new photon oscillations, distorting the geometry of space-time, creating time variations between and within objects. It is time variations within magnetic fields that act as a source for electric fields, and time varying electric fields is the source of magnetic fields. When one field is changing in time, then a field of the other is induced. This will be relative to the position and momentum of the objects creating the time variations, the atoms themselves. The capacity for consciousness was present in the universe from the very beginning in the form of this universal process of continuous energy exchange forming electrical potential that we see and feel as future possibilities. This will also be relative to the work done by forces external to the individual system or reference frame. This is based on the work of Michael Faraday and James Maxwell's equations of electromagnetism. But the interpretation is totally new. In this theory, this process forms what the conscious mind sees and feels and tries to measure as the flow of time itself. In this theory, the uncertainty of quantum mechanics is the same uncertainty we have with any future event because time is unfolding photon by photon with the flow of electromagnetic fields forming the electrical potential of our own future. This is a totally interactive process that is continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, creating our own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. This process forms an infinite number of reference frames within our universe. Only the uniqueness formed by an infinite number of reference frames could have created the complexity of cellular life with the creative and original process of thinking, forming a potential infinity of possibilities. Each of us has our own individual reference frame, therefore every process, person and object we encounter with has a particular individual meaning. It is this personalization of the brain that creates an individuality within the concept of mind. We all have our own individual perspective within this universal physical process. Therefore we have a universe that can comprehend itself from the center of its own reference frame, being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. Therefore the electrical potential of consciousness is always in the moment of now, within its own reference frame, looking out at creation, comprehending this process as the flow of time with a past and potential future. Within this interactive process of constantly changing waves of energy, continuous energy exchange, only the moment of now is real for each individual observer. The hand and eye will interact with the wave-particle duality of light just like any other object. In this theory, creation is truly in the eye of the beholder. The uniqueness of every life form, of every individual moment, of every sunset can only be formed out of an infinity of possibilities. This might sound 
far-fetched, but it is only extending Einstein's relativity to everyday objects and individuals. In the theory of general relativity, we have an interactive process. When an object moves, space-time moves, relative to the energy and momentum of the object, therefore forming the curvature of space-time. In this theory, this is a universal process. Everything from the smallest creature to the largest planet forms its own future space-time by slowing up the rate the time flows. Objects just free-fall towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation or the slowest rate that time flows. Therefore gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force because time is being formed photon by photon. Where some theories see disunity, disharmony and chaos, this theory sees oneness, unity and harmonics that can only be formed by one universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This organization is formed by the quantum wave particle function or probability function having spherical symmetry. As the energy levels cascade down, it forms greater degrees of freedom for the disorganization of entropy that we have in the second law of thermodynamics. This broken symmetry can be seen in the physical world as spiral symmetry in the form of the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. This theory explains a greater reality of one creative principle behind the laws of physics, forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with the vibrations of one's own thoughts, efforts and actions. I have tried to make this theory as simple as possible in the belief that everyone should be able to understand it. In my other videos I explain this theory in much greater detail. As an artist I am outside the scientific community so any help you can give in promoting this theory will be gratefully welcomed. Please subscribe and rate. This revolutionary theory will change our view of the universe and our place within it. For those that look upon this theory and comprehend will see their own infinity without end.